had this moment and I think I tweeted it, but I was like, I can't believe it took me so long to realize that you are like what I want to be, you know? Like, really? yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't make me cry. Oh, oh, oh my God. Really? Wow. I got some tissue. Um, but really, I was just like, she's hilarious and smart and outspoken and just, and also funny. It makes me so mad who are like, women aren't funny. There are no funny women. I'm just like, how dare you when Jack A is in the world? How dare you? Well, that you know what they mean though. It's a very male oriented thing. A mm-hmm. stand up for sure. Mm-hmm. Come. Uh, for, yeah. Used to be a lot more women. Um, Tootie Fields, Lucille Ball. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm talking about uh, Phyllis Diller, uh, Joan Rivers. It, it was a lot. Uh huh. Um, Imogene Coker. I'm not, I know. I know my history. You mm-hmm. know. But I don't know. It's like they disappeared and mm-hmm. now they're coming back. But the thing with women is, it's uh, it's a female thing. But also, you know, you have these um things you can't talk about. You know. You know. Mm-hmm. Um. That aren't allowed. Um, like men what? can talk about anything, mm-hmm. you know, but women, you have to be careful because people are looking at the woman first and then the comedian. Mm. The man comes on, boom. Yeah, so you got to go right to both. funny. Uh-huh. It's almost like you got to go right to funny, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know? So, yeah. yeah. It's like Ellen DeGeneres says, learn. Go, she goes right to funny. Yeah. See what I mean? I see. I see. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so we, we, but we're getting better. But, it, you know, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Who were some of your early comedic inspirations? I feel like you probably just named mm-hmm. them. Lucille Ball. Yeah. It's my name. I love Lucy. For real. Since you said Lucille Ball, I was like, of course. I May can West. see the influence now. Uh-huh. Mae West, for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joan Rivers. Joan taught me to write down everything. Every joke, every ad lib. And Rodney Dangerfield is my last mentor. We did Ladybugs really? together. Hey, baby, 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 write down everything. Baby, baby, you got to get your mantra. You got to get your mantra, baby. You got to get your mantra, baby. Uh, mm. uh, you know, no respect, baby. That's him. I got no respect. I don't uh-huh. uh, Dice. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, you got to have your man. Mine, of course. Is a <laughs> 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 and when you do it, people copy. I know uh-huh. you copy it. <laughs> and keep repeating it and repeating and repeating it. Uh-huh. And, and, and then you put it in there. You know. Yeah. Uh, it, it, you gotta hammer it out. I want to know what baby Jack K was like. Like, were, you, were did you just like come out of the womb funny and no. just like amazing? No, shy, very shy, very mm-hmm. quiet, singing along to the radio. Uh, my earliest memories, maybe seven or eight, singing along to the radio, the actual radio in the house. <laughs> yeah. We didn't have yeah, and um, TV bug baby. Bug. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Still am. Yeah. Oh yeah. Twenty four seven. How did you end up acting? Like, how did you? Did you grow out of it? Did you break out of it? Did you act? I was like, a member of the Glee Club from the the age of six, five. You know, singing, mm. and all through school, all all the way up. I got to junior high and I um got in the play, mm-hmm. school play. Mm-hmm. And I was co- the first one was Oklahoma. I didn't get the lead in that. I, I was love mad. Oklahoma. I didn't get the lead because I, oh, I was crying because I was so good. They Aww. said, no, you're not a senior. Uh, yeah. oh. so I, I did The King and I, and I got on stage, and I was great. Mm-hmm. And I got the applause, and that's when I came. But I still so was shy. Applause. I couldn't speak out. Uh-huh. Then I went and got um, acting lessons with Dick Anthony Williams at Henry Street Settlement. Mm-hmm. And they taught me, you know, we call monologues and things, and, and how to get up in front of people and talk. Wow. It took a year and a half for me to get up. But when I broke... I you was magic. Broke. But mm. perhaps, and that's what you have to do if you're going to do it. Because even now you have some actors who are shy, but I can speak in front of anybody. Yeah. You know, but don't ask me to do stand-up. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. I'm strong on anything. I'm a confident woman. I, yeah. But stand-up. That's a different beast. It. That is a different monster. Oh. And I tell people all the time, like, being funny on Twitter is one thing. Standing in front of a crowd and mm. trying to make them, I don't understand how anybody does it. But I was a sweet kid and mm-hmm. really nice. And I still am, you know. Yeah. Bookworm. You know, book it, you're nerdy, corny, uh, but <laughs> but I had a nice, you know, I'm a baby boomer, so I had a nice growing up period. Not yeah. tumultuous, you know, nothing, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, yeah. to speak up, I was a really sweet kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like the 90s, in the 90s, TV used to be so black. You know, like there were so yes. many black sitcoms. There was Living Single, there was Martin, there mm-hmm. was Sister Sister, there was, what do you think happened? Like, where did all the black shows go? We were in fashion. We go it's like black exploitation in the seventies. All those black movies, which were not oh. great, but they, we enjoyed were them. Were necessary, also, right? You know, yeah. You know what uh, Shaft, mm, the Ka- Light, uh, the Mac. Uh-huh. Uh, well, you can go Superfly. I, yes, I'm on and on and on. Mm-hmm. But uh, we just we're in and then we're out. Like yeah. we, we're in, we're hot, but we always resurface. Cause always. The creativity is, is so original, you know. But mm-hmm. 
I was like, black and white people, I'm sorry, we're, we're all the same because we influence each other now. Because mm-hmm. I sure have learned something from my little young man. Oh. Yes. Do tell. It's a give and take now. Mm-hmm. And that, that comes from the evolution and the evolving of people. So I believe in evolving. Mm. And that's what's happening. You have to evolve constantly. To understand racism, to understand gay rights being uh, you know, in French, you have to learn it. It's yeah. not, you don't just go, oh, that's wrong because you said it. Mm-hmm. You understand it. You can fight it. Right. You, you have know? to do a lot of listening to it. It's like Colin Kaepernick in the NFL. We, I understand that. Mm-hmm. So you can fight for it. But if you don't understand, you know, you, you really are confused. So we have to keep people mm-hmm. evolving. Yeah. You feel me? I feel you, girl. I feel you. I'm so, a little deep. What is the greatest piece of advice that you've gotten about acting? From Debbie Morgan. Mm-hmm. You know who that is? She mm-hmm. was on all my children. When you leave an audition... Leave it there. Don't take it with you home. Don't take it back. Just mm. it took me. I was gonna four say four years to learn that. I was like, how do you like, do you know, that? Did I get? I, was, I know. So what did I do? I'll be in the car. I'm talking about. It would last for months. Mm. You, you, you. Oh God! You go. And then somebody gets that role, and you watch. You go. I should get that part. Mm. I'm better you now. know. Yes. Envy, <laughs> jealousy. Mm-hmm. You know the difference between jealous and envy. Envy is why not me? Why her? Not me. Jealousy mm. is I hate her. Ah. No, really. <laughs> That's that the is, difference. I'm learning so mm-hmm. much. So, so that's much. the greatest piece of advice, and I have followed, and it works. Mm. I just but it took practice it there. to get there, huh? Just like for the forgiveness does. When you forgive somebody, Ooh. you have mm-hmm. to practice it, and it works. Mm. Mm-hmm. But you have to practice. Mm-hmm.